Good morning. Happy Saturday morning. I am Heidi and thanks for watching. I am opening up day nine of the RFN calendar. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, scroll back. I've been going every single day with an advent calendar. It has 12 days of eyeshadows in it. They're all limited edition. They are fabulous so far. I've been loving them. Don't forget any purchases um, until supplies last. When you spend $130 or more, you get this awesome corduroy makeup bag. Can you see? It's so, it's just nice. I love it. Anyway, so here's the advent calendar. And we're just going to go ahead and get started on eyes right away. And then we'll do the rest of my face. Today, I've been talking about for days that I wanted to do a cheetah hack and I just haven't had time since getting up in the morning before work is just limited time. So I have a little bit more time today. I do have somebody coming in for a makeover um, later this morning, but I should be good. Okay, so if you're watching this in replay or you're watching now, let me know what your favorite Thanksgiving food is. I'll talk about mine here in a little bit. Okay, this one's called Eternal. Let's see what we're working with. Ooh, pretty. It's like a plum, berry, maroonish. I don't know. No, it's not maroon. It's like a purpley color. I'll show you a swatch of it. It's like a berry brown. We're going to call it that. So this one's called Eternal. Let's see what I should pair it with. Good morning, everybody. Let me know what your favorite Thanksgiving food is. Let me grab my other eyeshadows if I can find them. Where are they? There they are. Okay, so we're working with this beautiful satin color eternal. Um, what should we do? I like to try to mix it up with what colors I've been showing off as well. Um, maybe we do, I think I want to mix it with one of our other ones that was in this. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. I'm going to do eternal and then you complete me this beautiful shimmer. And then I'm going to pull out, I think it was called legend. If I remember right, this one I thought was so pretty. Yeah, it's called Legend. This one was in our advent calendar too. This was day four. So I think we're gonna do these three. There's two of them. The other one's hiding back here. There we go. No, you can't. I can't hold them up, you guys. <laughs> Struggling. It's the struggle. You can't see it. Well, whatever. Anyway, those are the three we're working with. <laughs> okay, so I think let's start with the actual day nine. This one's eternal. Um, I'm going to, I don't have my brush clean tile, so I'm just going to wipe off my brush just in case I have a little something on here. Okay, so I'm going to take the fluffier end and um, go in just for a light layer and then tap it off so I don't have too much on here. And then I'm just gonna start swir swirling it on the outside of my corner here. Let's get up close and personal today. Why not? You can see my real skin. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about Thanksgiving meal because mm, you guys, it's one of my favorite holidays. And so, especially for food, I just absolutely love it. So I, even when people ask me, what's your favorite food? It actually is my mom's. No, it's not favorite food, like just Thanksgiving, it's of all time. Is my mom's stuffing. And it's all completely homemade. We make the croutons, we, oh, it's just so good. And the first time I ever tried to recreate it, I was like, I can do this. Cause I've always helped my mom with Thanksgiving meal since I was young. So I know how to kind of do most of it. 
but I had never done it on my own. And one time I was craving, this was many years ago, I was craving it. It wasn't even Thanksgiving yet. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try recreating it. And it just didn't taste right. I was like, why the celery? It's like crunchy, that's not normal. I'm like, mom, what did I do? And so I still, she's like, you followed the recipe, right? I'm like, yeah, I did. Well, something we do that I don't believe is actually in the recipe, but now I wrote it down so I don't forget to do it, is you do this little mixture of the onions, the celery, and the butter, and you mix that all up. Well, my mom always did that the night before because melted butter. The reason she always did it the night before is to save time because, you know, we'd get up at like five, six o'clock in the morning to get the bird in and you'd have to put the stuffing in and all that. Well, so she always just cut up the celery and the onion and the butter, melted it all together and put it in the fridge overnight just so it was ready. All we had to do was reheat it, right? That made the difference. Just letting the onions and the celery soak in that butter. <laughs> you guys, it's not a healthy thing. Stuffing is not healthy. If you guys have ever like watched it being made, there's a lot of butter but it's so good. So that is my favorite Thanksgiving food. So definitely share what your favorite Thanksgiving food is. Okay. So if you're watching, I went and slowly slept several times with multiple layers of this darker color. And then I switched it over to the more domed side to do the liner and also to just do a little bit darker on this outside corner. And we may go back in at the end just to even do a little more once we see what we're working with. But here's a nice start to this outer corner. Good morning, everybody. Okay, now I'm going to grab with my finger, You Complete Me. This is a pretty kind of orangey purple shimmer. I hear my kids fighting. Not fighting, they're playing, but it sounds like kind of fighting. Um, I'm going to put this, hopefully you don't hear them. Um, I'm putting this in like completely the center and this is looking good together. I'm already liking it. And I always use my finger for shimmers and then just kind of smudge it around and do the blending even with my fingers. So a lot of times if you have, if you put it on with your finger, the reason you're doing it is you want that extra like shimmery power. Um, but then if you go in with a brush too much, it will just take it all off. Okay. The shimmers like that extra little added warmth and oils that are naturally in your finger. And it works really, really well. You can get your brush damp. Um, if you don't want to use your finger, but I still, if you just make sure you have a clean finger and you're good. Okay. Now I'm going to keep my eyes open and I see, I don't see that color that much right there that this, um, eternal. So I'm going back in and just kind of fixing this up. I like to keep my eye open when I'm doing like the final touches on the eye look because I see what it looks like. See, then you can still see your eyeshadow when your eyes are open. This is really good for um, hooded eyes um, because when you have a hooded eye, you have your the extra skin is like covered up. Um, the extra skin up here is covering up your eyelid and so you don't see that color as much. And I started putting this in the next one. Oh my goodness. Um, <clears throat> ooh, this is pretty. Look at, I just added the colors back in here, but look at these three colors together. I'm curious how that would look try it sometime. And then last but not least, I'm going to use day four's advent calendar color called legend. And I'm just going to go in with my pinky so I don't get too much and just place it right here in the inner corner. It's kind of like a bronzy gold, a whitish gold. I don't know, but I'm just going to blend that into the corner like that. There, I think that looks good. This is a really nice dark, um, this eternal color that I put on the outside is a really nice, just dark purpley brown color. I think it will go with a lot of colors. There, I think I like that. And you can always just swipe a little bit if you don't, if you're seeing like a line between the colors. There, okay, let's do the rest of my face. 
And now the cheetah hack, um, hack standing for highlight and contouring. That's what, let's get back. Okay, so you got a nice up close and personal look at my eyeshadows today. Um, <clears throat> stands for highlight and contour. So what we're gonna do is, cheetahs have dots all over them, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put, like, I'm gonna place my colors exactly where they need to go on my face to give me shape and dimension and coverage. And then we're gonna go ahead and blend it. Now I have not done this in a long time. I don't often do cheetah hacks. I really prefer just kind of blending as I go, but some people like um, different application styles. So I do like to show several different ways. Um, <clears throat> so you're gonna have your highlight and your contour color, possibly even your brightener and a color corrector, depending on what eye color match you to. If you have not been color matched, you're interested in trying, this for the first time, please just comment color match and we'll get you started. I'll give you suggestions. Color matching is not like you're um, locked into having to even get anything. It's just to see what colors would look good on you. So there's no risk. Just go ahead and comment color match. So I'm going to go into my contour first and some people will use their fingers. Just make sure you have a clean finger or I'm going in with the smudge brush and I'm just going to place... Um, dots. I'm not sure. This contour is a little bit hard right now. I need to warm it up. If your contour ever starts to get a little hard, um, just take a um, blow dryer to it and it will warm it up. So I'm just lining this contour um, all around my hairline, all the way to the top of my ears, okay? Like so. Okay, then you wanna put your contour um, right here where you naturally already have a shadow from your cheekbones. This can be pretty, a very nice like beginner um, way of doing your makeup when you really just have no idea what you're doing. Let me find, I always send when you get started I'm not sure if I have, oh, yeah, I do. When you get started, I always send this graphic um, of our hack girl, our highlight and um, contour girl, and it shows you exactly where to place these colors. And that's what I'm doing basically with this. Um, one awesome thing about this makeup is that you can keep it one layer, so you're not doing layer after layer. Um, then you can even do a little bit on the side of your nose. So, a little bit under your contouring, really, when you get started, you just do a little bit in the main areas. This is a one, um, like making a three here, and then I'm going to bring it down here. And I am just going to do more of a light line and not dots. just on the jaw, like just underneath my jawline right there to give me a little more shape and dimension, okay? That's my contour. Then I'm gonna go in with my um, brightening shade and just put that where it needs to go. So in the corner of my eye, right here. This is great if you've already done your eye look, this will kind of clean up right here too. Okay, and I'm going a little bit slower just so you can kind of see where I'm putting it all, but really you can just slop this on your face and then blend, but I just want to slow it down a little bit for you all. Okay, so the brightening is you just, you put that kind of on your T-zone so that, um, it's just all the lightness is more in the center of your face. Then I'm gonna go around and place my bronzer. My bronzer is gonna go on my forehead just under, my bronzer is like almost running out. Just under where I put my contour. Okay. And then right above, like on my cheek here. Just think about where you naturally get a little sun. 
even a little bit here. And I probably will do a little bit on my neck later when I'm blending. Okay, do you see we're really keeping it one layer. I'm not doing a lot of overlapping, um, very little product. Okay, then you go in with, if you need a color correcting shade, which I do because I just have like some acne spots and a little bit of redness. And I just kind of tap a light layer of that on like my main red spots. This is the only place that I do have a little bit of extra layering because of my added redness. But there we go. So now everywhere else, I'm gonna go in with my main highlight shade. And my main highlight shade is almost out as well. Oh, I just stuck my finger. Ooh, I just got makeup on my nail. So don't do that. <laughs> Hey everybody, I see more people hopping on. Let me know what your favorite um, favorite Thanksgiving food is. So now I'm just going with my main highlight shade and I'm going to do dots all over. And like I said, it does not have to be like all precise. And I don't know if you see girls on, on social media placing their makeup and it's sometimes like, oh, it's so perfect. You really can just slop it on. It's not a big deal. So I'm just gonna put dots, almost turns into like little swipes of my main highlight shade everywhere else. But I'm just placing that and then just a little bit in between. You can also put your lip or cheek color here as well. Um, I think I'm gonna do that at the end. But do you see how I just have dots all over? Like, hello, Tita. <laughs> Okay, so now we're just gonna grab a blending brush. Um, my favorite brush to blend with is the blush and bronzer brush. I am gonna, I'm, I'm gonna actually start with my lightest color. So, just kidding. I'm gonna grab my detail brush because I really like the small end to be able to brush out my um, brightening colors. So just to get around my eyes, I like to use my small end. So once I get around my eyes, then I'll switch to my other bigger brush. And I'm just doing tapping motions to blend it out like so, okay? just I just like to do my eyes with this little brush. So once I feel like I've blended in around my eyes, and then I'll switch to the blush and bronzer brush. I'm going to focus on all that lighter color first, okay? and just get blending. And the blending is really like tapping motions. And then make sure you're blending downwards where that cheek, con not cheek, um, jaw contour is. I'm just gonna tap, 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 tap. And then you just move on to your contour. The nice thing is, is that these colors kind of stay where you place them. So even if you, I'm, you can see I'm going between my highlights, I'm going between my, my contour, my bronzer, and really it all blends so nice together that you don't have to be too careful, okay? Which is nice. And then we're just gonna get that little bit of shape and dimension up here on my forehead for my contour and bronzer. And then, I mean, basically it's done. I'm just checking, make sure I got it all. You don't want any like crazy, <laughs> crazy lines anywhere. But I feel like this is one way, if you feel like your makeup feels a little cakey, um, you might be using too much product, okay? And, or you're seeing too much texture. Um, maybe you are using too much product. So try the cheetah hack and you're gonna end up using a little bit less and hopefully that helps. I am going to go into a little bit of my bronzer now and I'm just bringing it down my neck a little bit, just like a light dusting of it. I call it a light dusting, even though it's not powder. All of the products are cream that I use except for my eyeshadows. Let me look, let me grab my mirror quick and see how it's looking. I think we're pretty good. You just definitely don't want to keep any of the dots. <laughs> there we go. 
I think we're all blended. Isn't that awesome? The coverage is amazing. And you saw how little product I'm using. It's just mind blowing to me sometimes. Um, and then you can always go in and do little touch ups if you need. So if I felt like I need a little bit more coverage here, um, you can go in and just do a little tap where you feel like maybe you need a little bit more. Um, like I said, I don't do the cheetah hack very often. So for me, just even knowing how much product to use, um, varies, but, um, let's go ahead and put a little blush color on and lips and then we're done. We're done. Like, look at how so pretty. I love this eyeshadow look. I think it turned out so good. So I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use Madrid. Madrid is such a pretty color. It's a satin, kind of a peachy pink that looks so good on so many women. I actually used it a couple times, I think, on some in-person makeovers. Um, it's just a really pretty color. I think it's a very natural looking pink. And I always like using the satins for blush. It's just my go-to. Okay. And then let's do a little on my lips. Isn't Madrid pretty? And then I'm topping her off with Sunshine State. Sunshine State is one you guys need. <laughs> Such a pretty color. It's like iridescent -y. I don't know how. Do you see like it's, you know, are so pretty. There we go. There's my look. Um, let me, I gotta put in a little bit of illuminator. I'm using state number six, you guys also. This just reminded me, I just got word last night of our Black Friday deals and releases. They're so good. I'm sharing them all today, you guys. Like every hour on the hour, starting at nine and through the day, I am sharing the, all the different things. Make sure you stay tuned. What I just used, this um, Illuminator perfume might have something coming up. That's pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited about. Um, so keep your eyes open. And I will be getting a... Um, an email and a text out to all of my customers talking about Black Friday sometime here in the next week. Um, if you are not on my texting list, if you are not on my email list, um, if you, that just means that you've never ordered from me um, <clears throat> and you're not considered one of my customers, that's okay. You can still get my emails, my texts, just as reminders of different things. I only send out one a month. I don't go overboard and so I should never feel spammy, I would hope. So um, just comment text or comment email if you wanna get on um, either of those lists. So thank you so much for watching. I need to do mascara and then um, clean up my stuff to get ready for my in-person makeover. So again, that was day nine of our advent calendar. I know I did a lot of other stuff, but this was day nine of the advent calendar. This is everything I've opened up so far. We have three more days left. I'll continue to go live every day so you can check them all out. Don't forget, these are only limited edition and available in the advent calendar, but there is the free gift with purchase. You can get a loyalty link with me to um, start earning some free um, makeup and discounted makeup as well. So um, I would love to help you out with any questions you have. So just comment anything or reach out to me personally, and I would love to help you out. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.